Hi again, everybody. This is Jared Ronsky from SportsAnnouncing.com, and we're bringing you another tutorial here on Sports Sounds Pro. This is the latest version that's been released in May of 2016. However, what we're going to go over has been in the in the program for a while. If you don't have the latest version, now is a great time to go ahead and update to it to 6.0.13. Do it now if you have an opportunity. Who knows? If you're watching this, you know, much beyond May of 2016, there's most likely going to be further updates. So just keep a look on our YouTube channel and see the updates that we do have. And also check out sportssoundspro.com periodically to see if there's any updates. But what we're going to talk about here is the export to Excel. And that's very simple. Go up here to Tools, click down here, and it says Export Page and Sound Buttons to Excel. Click on it. You'll get this error message. It's fine if you do. It's written it. As you can see over here, it's in the folder. This is in the C Sports Sounds Pro folder, which is on your desktop. You can tell that's where the ssp.inf file is. It's where your set files are. It's where a lot of the information that you need for Sports Sounds Pro is located. It's also where your log is. Now, to bring this up, just double click. It'll ask you to read only. That's the best way to go about doing it. You can also click on notify, but either way is fine. Now you have another box that, that comes up. Click on yes, and it will now populate this screen. You see all of these sound buttons that are now populated. From 1 to 6,858. That's how many sound buttons I have in this one set file. So I come over here to help you out a little bit. You go up, you click on... A, click on data, and then right here, this is text to columns. This is, in a, this is in a newer version of Excel, so you may have to find it in an older version, but this way will make things a little bit more simpler on you. Text to columns, delimited, because characters such as commas or tabs separate each field. You see down here, there's a comma right there between the page and the button name. Click on next, I'll bring it up here so you can see it on the screen. You've got it here. Click on Next. And then make sure you click on Comma. See, it puts in that border now where there was the comma. That now divides up that column. Then that's going to populate to A and B. Click on Next. It'll ask you general data format. It doesn't really matter for this. Just click on Finish. And you see it has now taken what was this string and now has put it into the next string. In Excel, you double click on that little spot right between the two cells. It'll extend it out. It'll extend A out. Then I go B to C. And you see here, it extends this out as well. You can now scroll down. You have everything all organized. You can print it out. You can or organize it as necessary. It just has made things a lot easier to organize, to track, know where everything is. You can keep this with you. You can put it onto your phone and just have it on there, do a search through. So do a control F, and I want to find We Will Rock You. And it says it's right there in pregame. Find next. It's there in another pregame, which I do have three pregame. It's also in rallies, too. Go down here. It's also in basketball timeout for women, uh, back when I was dividing up that way. In hotkeys, We Will Rock You vocals. It will tell you. It does a search for you. You can do all that and find everything in there. Now I'm going to close out. You can save it if you want. I'm not going to save personally. I just click on don't save. Uh, what I'll do is I'll save as something else. So that way it doesn't write over the file that's in here. So I come in. I've already done that. We'll do it again. Remember, just click on the A column. Data, text to columns. And pretty much you're just going to hit next all the way through. Make sure comma is selected. Finish. Boom, it's like that. And then you just hit file. Save as. Find where you want to put it on your computer. I'm running Windows 10 right now, so it's a little bit different than the that's similar to 8, but a little bit different from 7 and earlier versions. Find the folder you want to put it in, save it that way, and you're all good, ready to go. You've got it saved somewhere on your computer. It's an awesome feature. I love using it. I can now take when I have uh, one of my clients says, "Well, what are you going to play for?" Uh, what are you going to play for us this year? What are the new songs that you've added? I typically put those on one page. I can then ex work that Excel to the client, send it over to them and say, okay, this is everything that we've added. You now have the ability to see what we have. 
Is there anything on there you want to take out? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It makes it very simple if they do. And it's just another extra little feature inside of Sports Sounds Pro that's making things so much simpler on the sports DJ out there. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email at dj at sportsannouncing.com. Be more than happy to get with you and answer any questions that you may have about Sports Sounds Pro or anything else that has to do with uh, Game Ops. And once again, that's dj at sportsannouncing.com. Thanks for taking a listen today and taking a look, and keep having fun out there.